Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on this 26 liter King Chi electric humidor. So like I said, this is a 26 liter. So it does have four different trays or four different compartments, three flat shelves at the top, and then one deep tray at the bottom. So with this King Chi humidor, you can only control the temperature. This humidor also has a capacity of 200 cigars, give or take, depending on the size. Now I do want to mention how I've tried everything to try to get rid of the smell. Because as soon as you get this humidor, you do get a very plastic smell resonating from the inside. It's almost like a plastic slash glue smell that comes from this humidor. And obviously that's not a smell that you want to put your cigars in. And so as soon as I got this humidor, the first thing that I did was I opened the door and I let the humidor air out completely for about 24 hours. After those 24 hours, I completely removed every single one of the trays. And while empty, I left it another 24 hours with the door open. And this time I added baking soda. So as you can see, I do have trays with baking soda at the top as well as at the bottom. And so now it's been a total of 48 hours of me trying to air out the humidor. And then after that, I went ahead and put the trays back inside. I put this little cup with baking soda on the top. And then I put this smaller one at the bottom. Now after this, I did connect the humidor and I shut the door. And very quickly, I noticed that the motor itself was producing this kind of glue plastic smell as well. So for the next 24 hours after that, what I would do would be open the door every couple of hours and let it air out once again and let the fan itself push all that smell out. After those 24 hours were up, I went ahead and checked it and the smell was still there. It was still present and it was still very, very strong. I then went ahead and removed every single one of the trays and I cleaned the inside of the humidor with a non-scented vegan soap, distilled water, and some baking soda. I went ahead and made a little mixture and then I cleaned the sides of the humidor. After almost a week of trying to get rid of this plastic smell, I really expected something to happen. I was really expecting to get a decrease in the smell of plastic, but to be honest, it almost feels impossible. I don't know if it's the motor that's producing the plastic smell, but it's just a consistent smell that doesn't go away and I really don't feel comfortable putting my cigars in that environment. Now I do want to show the bottom tray. So here's the bottom tray of the humidor and as you can see they also used glue. Aside from using these little nails to put the tray together, they also decided to use glue in the assembly. You can kind of see it throughout every piece of wood and that's why I keep saying that this is a plastic glue smell because part of the smell I do think resonates from this glue which is why I feel the smell is so persistent and never goes away. And I also want to mention that you can really tell when you smell high quality Spanish cedar wood. And to be honest, I don't really smell it in this wood. I don't know if it's the glue that's masking it, but once you've actually smelled high quality Spanish cedar wood, you never forget that smell. And this is not it. I'll even go as far as to say that this doesn't even smell like wood. I even tried sanding it a little bit because when you sand high quality Spanish cedar wood, it will release that really good Spanish cedar wood smell. That didn't happen with this wood. And I mean, overall, it does work. The humidor does its job correctly. It regulates the temperature and it does it very accurately. But if you're someone like me that really values that high quality cedar wood smell, and if you're someone that doesn't like the idea of having your cigars in an environment that smells like plastic, then this is probably not for you. So I mean, overall, this humidor does its job, regulates the temperature correctly. It has four layers, but just the smell of plastic is way too strong. Even after a week of me trying to remove it, it's still there. And that for me is a deal breaker.